Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It is Tuesday the 11th of July. In this short video, I'll be looking at the charts of the pound against the dollar, so sterling. What we'll see is that just before the election, we were approaching the resistance just above 130. Uh, we've obviously, we came off after the election. We're now back up, or last week we did test that 130 level again. We've come off again. The moving averages, the 20 is about to cross the 50 in an upward direction, a golden cross. Will that give the push that's needed to break this resistance? So here we have the daily chart and you can see that um, we did push back above the 130 at the start of last week but we again found this resistance too much and we came back down. Uh, there was positive momentum as we went up there. That has now subsided although we are still above 50 and we've come back to support of the rising 50 day moving average. If you look carefully, I know it's hard to see on your screen, the yellow line here, which is rising, is the 20-day moving average. That will cross the 50 in about three or four days. If the 50 is still rising at that point, that will be a golden cross, and that could be the push that's needed to break this resistance. What you'll see on the weekly, which we'll move to shortly, once we get above this resistance, uh, 130.50 we will be we it, it opens up a move to the 134 level um, I've talked about the RSI still above 50 so still showing positive momentum although it is drifting at the moment and the MACD as well have started to drift on the weekly picture um, you can see here that we found support from the rising 20 week moving average and that's still moving up. Uh, 50 and 200 are moving down, um, which you'd expect given the move that's happened on sterling. And uh, so the trend is still down on the weekly. Um, RSI is showing uh, signs of positive uh, upside at 54, um, but not in an uptrend, just drifting. And also the MACD is just drifting. Um, on the four hour charts, here I'd view it as a flag. We had the big run up and we've had this sideways move, slight downtrend. Um, I'm calling it a flag. It's not as triangular as a, as a flag formation would be, um, but it's um, let's treat it as a flag. If we do get a break to the upside, um, which would be a break above the uh, 129.75, um, then that could obviously break this resistance up at the uh, 130.30 level. Um, moving averages are causing a bit of trouble on this four hour. The 20 days causing immediate resistance and just above there we've got the 50 um, moving down as well. Here RSI drifting in a, in a shallow downtrend. It is marginally above 50 at the moment, but we do need to see some upside um, to get that to be moving higher. And the MACD also indicating negative momentum as they as they drift lower. So overall on the charts, um, it's all a bit mixed apart from the fact that we could get this golden cross on this daily on the on the 20 crossing the 50 that might give the push up. I think if we drift off further and come back below the moving averages, then the picture would turn more bearish and we could actually go down and you know be testing the 126.50 level. Looking at the support to resistance levels, um, that 130.26 is a big resistance. And then as I said above there, there is a gap. Next resistance, 134.36 with the support at the immediate 50 day 128.77 and below there the 20 day 128.47. You can see how close those are already. So that's been TA for traders having a look at sterling. That's the British pound against the dollar. Just to clarify the key points from the video, um, there's key resistance just above the 130. 
the 20 and 50 moving average could give the push that's needed to break that if they do form a golden cross in the next few days. Uh, four hour could be a flag, but it does need to break that uh, downtrend and it would be positive above resistance. Thanks for watching this video from TA for Traders. Uh, please remember these videos are for information only and are not meant as an investment recommendation. Thank you.